Come on, Mike. Have a good night, kid. Shut the door, baby. <sighs> cool, buddy. Dominate, hey? Dominate. See the Zorro. Cross. Zegris. Let's see you, buddy. I'll pump it hard on the tube. I'll pump it hard on the live stream. Yeah. Don't know stress. It's June, man. <laughs> Time to hydrate. Light, light. healthy hydration.
Hello, everybody. Welcome to Game 3 of the Rob Shrimp Combine Camp here in Bled, Slovenia. This week's been a great week for the players. Uh, we have a tied series right now, best of three series. It's 1-1, so tonight's for uh, winner take all. The, the winning team is going to be getting Bauer sticks. We've had a great week. The players came here in a combine setup. They were tested on ice and off ice. Uh, and then we had a game on Monday, some practice time on Tuesday with some video sessions, game on Wednesday, some more video on Thursday, and here we are, the championship game on Friday. And we want to give you a list and take a look at the players that are attending this year's camp. And we're going to go through their bios, check them out. And you can find their bios on Elite Prospects. They are, uh, every player that's attending this year's camp gets at a premium account. So anybody tuning in can check that out and see the players, where they played last year, their stats, and where they might be playing next year or if they're available. So have a look at who we got here at the camp this year. Oh, there's the screen. Alexander Zeprovoda from Riga. Alex played for uh, HS Riga in Latvia. He's a shifty little forward, very gritty in the corners, got good edges, good footwork. Next up, we have Johannes Newman. Johannes uh, was playing in Austria last year for Klagenfurt. He's a very shifty forward, very good puck uh, handler, uh, sees the ice well, and he's got a very good finish. He's scored a, a goal this week. Uh, Richard Petersons, also from Riga, Latvia, uh, solid defenseman, very good positionally, good active stick. Um, he's also, again, from Riga. We got the Latvian boys come here, Rals Laudasans, HS Riga as well. Very steady, stay at home uh, D-man, very strong, very poised with the puck. He's been great this week uh, in the two games that we've had so far. Gregor Pazda played in the Austrian League last year for Vlock. Gregor's a monster of a man, monster of a boy. Well, just turned 18 years old. Um, very, he can skate great for a big guy. He's got great hands, great vision, and I think the future is going to be big for him. Uh, Tarek, I screw this name up all the time. <laughs> Marukva, uh, he came from Bulgaria, uh, Bulgaria. I just got to meet him this year. Nick Gombach. Nick will be out tonight. He had an injury, unfortunately, pulled hamstring, so you will not see him tonight. Uh, Mark Pivak played in the U.S. last year for St. Mary's. Uh, Mark had a great year. He's a really gritty forward. It's like a third-line checking winger, PKer, block shots, energy guy, great in the room. He's always loved by his teammates. Ty Bashoff has come over here from Minnesota. Last year he was playing for the Green Bay uh, Gamblers. And next year he's going to be playing for Honeybaked. Ties a really gritty forward, very good finish on him. Uh, he's like a pit bull on the ice. He's got so much uh, competitiveness and compete. Likes to finish his hits. He's always trying to drive the puck to the net. Take a look at him tonight. Julian Zimmerman's from Germany. Julian's a smart, smart defensive forward. Very good positionally, active stick. And next year, I'm not sure where he's going to be playing, but he's second year Julian's come to the camp. Great kid. Love to have him here. Alex Simonovic from Riga, Latvia, played for HS Riga last year, played in the men's league. Uh, he's a very big, very good uh, positionally, good active stick. He sees up the ice very well. Another Latvian boy, Niels Bridis, uh, also good puck mover, big defenseman, very competitive, finishes his hits. You, uh, take, keep an eye on him tonight. He's fun to watch. Arwen Nylander, this is a player that I'm really passionate about. Her passion for the game, dedication for the game, and hard work is, is second to none. She loves the game, absolutely driven. Skates three, she was skating three times a week uh, the month leading up into this camp. Loves the game, and last year she played in Marlboro, and next year she's still looking for a spot to play. So keep an eye on her. Martin Cherepinczek, one of my favorite players at the camp. His development's been unreal from last year when I met him. Big, lengthy guy. Uh, he can skate well, has good body control. And he's a very, very, very smart hockey player. I love the way this kid plays the game. Tristan Knobla, he came from Czech Republic last year. This is a right-handed shooting, uh, very skilled forward. 
He sees the ice well. I see a little bit of a Alex, uh, Alexander Semin in him. Very shifty with his hands, and he's got a great release. Bobby Metz, he'll be attending Colgate next year. Bobby's super smart, very intelligent defenseman, quick to jump up in the rush, sees the play very well, and also can finish off. Tarek Madmutovic played last year in Sweden. Next year, he'll be playing Sweden again for Rogla. Very shifty, sees the ice well. He's got great finish on him as well. Uh, Tarek is a fun player to watch. You'll see tonight, he's always attacking the net. He's always spinning out of the corners, taking guys one-on-one. -on -one. He's a really fun player to, to, to watch. Tian Frisch Lobre, he's fun. He's a very competitive kid, very strong out of the corners, can finish hits. This is a guy that can hit. Uh, he lays out bone-crushing hits when he catches guys. So keep an eye out for him tonight. My Pivac was in Michigan last year as well. He's a shifty little defenseman, puck mover. And he got, last game, he was really physical. He had about five or six hits and jumping up in the rush. I like him back on the point playing D. It's a new position for him, but I think he fits there very well. Urban Podreka, this is a kid I'm really excited about. He's very strong, very smart. He sees the ice very well, and he's very poised up at the blue line. He knows how to maneuver, get away from coverage, and then attack the net. You've seen it last game. He had a hat trick. Very smart defenseman, and he's as strong as an ox. This kid has got a bright future. I'd love to see where he ends up next season. A couple minutes here before puck drop. Everybody tune in. Take a look at these players. Enjoy the game. I'll be commentating in and out. Tough start for Red coming out of the gate, taking a penalty early, but the size of Gregor Pozlo, anytime someone that the size like that's coming at you, you're going to want to get out of the way. Looked like uh, uh, Rawls wanted to dodge that hit, but Gregor just caught a piece of his knee. So you know, shorthanded coming out of the gate here for Red. Let's see how they respond. Oh, 
turn over here. Tion Frisch. Low over. Good back check by Chad Pinchik. That's the guy I talked about there in the beginning. Of town. I, I really like this kid. He's very smart. He's got a lot of heart. Uh, Development-wise, oh, from last year to this year, he grew a mile. Um, last year, he had that size as far as height, but he didn't really have the body control and the edge work. This year, he showed up and he's a much better skater and a lot, a lot more confident in his body, a lot more body control. So that helps him, again, with his confidence level, trying different things and more. On the offensive side, that's where that comes uh, with that confidence, being able to control your body, take players on one-on-one, -on -one, extend plays, and not be in a rush to get rid of the puck. And then you see a play like that where he back checks, a lot of heart and a lot of a lot of hard work. Keep an eye on number 50 tonight. Oscar Frida is walking the line there. Oscars was the MVP of the Riga Cup, uh, defenseman of the uh, Riga Cup this year up in Riga, Latvia. Uh, he, he's a really good defenseman as well. Big kid, he's starting to grow into his size and his confidence level is starting to rise as well. Game, I think it was game one. Uh, game one, he had a really nice snipe just from out top of the circles, almost similar to right from that spot. So his shooting's come a long way and also his footwork and grow, like I said, growing into that frame because he is a big kid. A little turnover here. Julian Zimmerman with the chance on the breakaway. Michael Bashoff coming in strong there, staying patient, making a great save on that breakaway. In net for red, we got Michael Bashaw. In net for black, we have Ian Sutler. What a great play. What a great setup by Cherepinchek. Tarek Mamutovic finishes it off. Black seems to be coming out strong here in this first period. See Ty Bashoff get it in deep. We're just talking about Cherepinchek is his confidence level. A year ago, he would not have tried this move through the legs. He's got his, his confidence level, uh, level is skyrocketed. Oh, what a great play. What a great look. First to pull that move off and then to get it right on Tarek. This was no mistake. He saw the player tape to tape. Boom. Michael Bashoff didn't have much of a chance there. Red kind of left him out to dry.
going to have a goalie interference here on uh, goalie interference penalty here on Mark Pivetch. Had a great scoring chance there in front. Just unfortunately, his momentum drove him into the goaltender. I don't think it was on purpose, but maybe it was. Maybe <laughs> maybe Mark's trying to send a message out here. These guys have spent the whole week together. There's been a lot of chirping going on back and forth, but it's a great group of kids. It's been a great week so far. We've had a lot of fun, learned a lot, and we've really enjoyed these games. Kids are super competitive and going at it back and forth, battling it in practice. So this has been a treat for me to be a part of it and be able to develop these kids and do some video stuff with them have this stream available. We want to thank Elite Prospects for streaming this live on their YouTube channel. It's, a, it's been a great opportunity for these kids to showcase themselves, and uh, we really appreciate that, that partnership. We're going to get a chance to see Bobby Metz here on the PP. We mentioned earlier in the pregame, Bobby Metz is heading to Colgate next year. So I'm, I'm really excited to see how he does in this freshman season. He had a great season last year in the Null, and his development was very good. Um, got more and more confidence. You just watch him tonight. You'll see him throughout the night. He's always jumping up. He's always making really, really smart plays. Um, great positionally. And we got an offside there by Posler. Zone shrunk up on him a little bit. I forgot there was a blue line there. <laughs> boy, big boy. Comes Urban Pudraka coming down. This kid's a very good skating defenseman, very smart. I talked to him in the pregame show. Uh, he's he's very, very built. I'll say he's very good shape, trained very hard. And in this camp, he's a he's a men and boys. Uh, he's probably the top shape guy, one of the top shape guys in the camp, the strongest for sure. Uh, it's been fun watching him. I saw him through the course of the year in February at the U18s playing for Team Slovenia. And so even in that time frame since then, he's come a long way. Skating looks even better. He looks even stronger, and he's been the top one of the top players at the camp this week. I would almost give him, I don't want to say it too soon because we still have another period and a half to play here, but 
he's a, he's my candidate for player of the camp so far. Great kid around the group too, in the room. He's one of those guys, he's a quiet leader, uh, and the kids really respect him. So and even though they're all the same age, they really respect what he has to say and his presence in the room. Oh yeah, we talked about that. Here he is, Jetta Pinchek showing up again. And uh, we were giving him some grief from game one. He had a goal, same thing, same breakaway, same move exactly. Presented the puck like he was gonna shoot from the slot, got it to his backhand, got it up, and then the game and uh, the goal in game one was a little bit, uh, it was kind of a dusty celebration. So the boys were chirping him. We had him on video on Tuesday, showing his bad celebration and that one, that was a nice one. They're putting the sword away, letting the boys know he's got the magic wand. Great goal, great sprint, way to get up the ice, way to finish, Martin Chetapinchek. Great save by Eaton Sautler there, but one thing I want to point out there is pay attention to Bobby Metz jumping up in that play. He came out of nowhere, like out of his rocket ship, joining that rush with Posler. Nice play back. Way to stay patient. Nice sprawl by Sautler there. He's really solid in the net. His technique is great. He's competitive, square to the puck, competes. He's been fun to watch, work with Lucas, uh, Luca Brackner all week. Uh, Luca's been great. He's a great goaltending coach. He's a great resource for us here at the RSC camp. We had him last year in our original camp. This is our first combine camp, but I played with Luca for two years in Salzburg, playing for Red Bull. And uh, I loved, I liked him back then. And, and the way he works with the kids, it's fun to see him, uh, how much he cares, how much passion he has for him, and how much knowledge he has. Um, we chirp each other all the time as old teammates, but when it comes down to stuff like this, you get to a camp working together and seeing him, again, how he works with the kids, how much knowledge he has. Uh, it's been really cool to see a different side of him because before we were just boys and now we're here in development and working together in that aspect. Great look by Pudreka there. Way to get it up, get it in the zone. It seems like the Blacks having a little struggle getting the power play entrance. <clears throat> Pudreka took it on himself. End of the zone, that's one thing I talked about him. Before he's strong, you can see in his stride. He can bowl those, bowl through that offensive zone, rush. And I like the way his decision making, he doesn't force it. He sees the ice, sees the play, jumps up, and he does. there's not much riverboat gambling in his game. It's very calculated. Again, his skating helps him get through a lot of stuff. Um, nice, I can't talk about him enough. Really fun player to watch.
We've got our skating coach, Hybrid, over there working the penalty box. He's been great this week working with the kids. He's very, he was a, he's an ex-figure skater and an ex-power skater. So the combination of edge work and speed and power uh, is what he works on. And these kids have been getting a lot of stuff from him this week. He's work, he worked with them every day for 15, 20 minutes in the start of each practice. And then yesterday he had a full hour with the kids. He's done a great job working in their edge works. And I, I like that resource. I really enjoy the, what he's got from his experience in his CV. Again, that figure skating for edge work and then the power skating for, for speed and power. So kids really enjoyed working with him. He's a great guy. We love having him here at the camp. Like Sautler took one square to the bucket there. Square to the bucket and he was square to the puck. Great position, there was nothing to shoot at for the, for the shooter there. I never I never understood that though. That's something that I give credit, give goalies tons of credit for, man. You get beamed in the head like that. I can't imagine the ringing in the ears. That, that was square in the button. Great play there by Mark Pibetz to set up Julian Zimmerman. We talked about that during the course of the week. If you watch early on in this play, Mark Pibetz staying a little bit more patient on the wing, staying close to the puck right here. 
beginning of the camp, he was sprinting up the ice. He'd be way above that play, staying low and slow, keeping it a nice, simple pass for that D-man, and then exploding through the neutral zone. Spins off the check, makes a great pass. The rest of it's up to him, you know, but that early habit of him staying, staying back, staying patient, not going too far ahead of the D is what gets him that opportunity. And then once he gets over the blue line, be creative. Great play by him. Great finish by Ju uh, Julian Zimmerman. Luca Gratzner is going to take a timeout here for Red. Let's see what they come up with. Hopefully get the, the whiteboard out, figure it out. This is some interest, uh, interesting chatter here on the bench for Team Black. We have Slovenian language, we have English speaking, we have Latvian speaking, we have German speaking, and uh, <laughs> trying, to, trying to watch this all come together is, is quite, the, it's quite the picture. It's quite entertaining for me here in between the benches. Looks like Red responded really well to Luka Gracchina's time out there. They came out hitting the body, getting the puck deep, finishing their checks, and from that they drew a penalty. So hopefully we get some momentum swing back in Red's way. We want a good good hockey game. I don't want to see a blowout. I want to see this be tight to the end. I, I wouldn't mind even seeing a shootout, to be, if I'm being totally honest.
of a mild issue down here. Bobby Metz on his way over here from the U.S. His baggage was lost at the airport in Paris, France. And then when it finally did show up here in Slovenia, it looks like someone at baggage claim had literally stepped on his sticks and broke them. So I had given him that stick, that one he just broke, courtesy of Bauer. Thank you very much, guys. But now he's... <laughs> He just told me he might go grab a left-handed stick, play the rest of the game. We'll see what kind of talent he's got.
Yep, come on through. Great period, Michael. You gonna hold that? Yeah. If these guys scoot through, go ahead, Omar. Come on in the screen, come on over here, buddy. Johannes Newman, how is that period for you? What'd you see out there, buddy? Small task, yeah? No big deal. Uh, where were you playing last season? Tell everybody watching where you played last season. Yep. And what are you looking for next season? What are you What are you looking for? What's your aspirations? Where would you like to play? Well, I've enjoyed watching this week. You're a shifty player. You're fun to watch. You, you had a nice goal last game. And uh, watching your progress, I'll be keeping an eye on you. And everybody else tuning in, they're going to keep their eyes on you as well. So good luck. Hope you pull this out in the third period, buddy. Good job, man. Come on in, buddy. Great period. Chad Pinchek, how'd you feel about that period? What'd you see out there, buddy? I mean, it was a, it's a good game so far. I mean, for us it is. Um, I think, I still think we can do better. But yeah, That's nice. Know, in a good way to win. You're not satisfied yet? This? You're not satisfied yet? No, I think we can do better. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Well, it was fun to watch it. It was a great period. I thought you made a nice move on that one through the legs, dangle, yeah, and then thanks. you found Tarek. That was awesome. Uh, it was perfect timing for me because I was just pumping your tires a couple seconds before that. So it <laughs> worked out great. Uh, tell everybody where you played last season. Uh, last season went? I played in uh, here in Olympia. Uh, it was the uh, best season so far. Yeah, I mean, it's getting better and better. It was a great team, great coach. Uh, and that's why we won the championship. I also play uh, 20 games for seniors, uh, which goes, which were also very, good, very well. Yeah, that's good. So I was telling everybody from last year to this year, you've grown so much and you're body yeah. control, your edge for your speed, and it's really starting to show off in your offensive game, your confidence level. Thanks. Uh, what would you like to see yourself, where would you like to see yourself next season? What are you looking for out of your next path? I mean, for sure, I'm uh, searching for new challenges uh, out. Um, yeah, I, I want to play out. I mean, there is so many, <laughs> so many leagues uh, I want to play. I mean, yeah. Everywhere. Don't worry, buddy. No stress. No worries. <laughs> um, yeah, so keep developing the way you have been. From, again, from last yeah. year to this year, you've gotten bigger, but also your game's developed a long way. It's been fun to watch you this week, and keep pulling the moves off like you did there to Tarek, okay? Yeah, it's thanks. fun watching you. Thanks, buddy. Keep it going, buddy. Martins Cetapinczyk, great player, great kid. Uh, I'd keep an eye on this kid. I think he's going to be great for somebody next year. Um, he's perfect. He's very coachable. Very nice kid. His dad is a professor at the uh, computer software technology institution here. And smart family, smart kid. And he absorbs everything like a sponge. So keep an eye on number 50 in black. We'll be back very soon. That's tough. This is something you see often.
and then you see a play like that where he back checks a lot of heart and a lot of a lot of hard work keep an eye on number 50 tonight Great play. What a great setup by Chetap. jumping up. He's always making really, really smart plays. Um, great positionally. We got an offside there by Pozzo. Zone shrunk up on him a little bit. Comes over by Pozzo coming down. This kid's a very good skating defenseman. Very smart. I talked to him in the pregame show. Uh, he's, he's very, very built. I'll say he's very good. <laughs> Here he is. Jennifer Pinchek shoots. side of them because before we were just boys and now we're here in development and working together in that aspect.
Time to hydrate. Wait, wait. Welcome back for period two here. Went in there, gave Red a little pep talk. Hopefully they respond. Want to see these kids compete. Dig in a little bit, come back. Black team was in that locker room. They were pretty confident, pretty full of themselves. You know, they're banging on the boards. I can't even hear myself think. Period two is underway. Let's go Red. Omar Zdraurovic is in the net now for the second period. Michael Bashaw will stay in for red. Fortunately, we had a, we had a situation, not a situation, but uh, we had a prom situation, and uh, our other goaltender had to attend, so Michael got the full game tonight. We'll just see how he does with a full 50-minute workload. Ty Bashoff brings one off the post against his brother there. I can't imagine how much chirping we would have heard tonight if he would have buried that. Kind of wish he would have.
The Reds going to go shorthanded here. Guys enter. Zepravoda there with a flying cross check. That is against the rules. So he will go to the box two minutes. He will feel shame. To quote the great movie, Slap Shot. You go two box, you, two minutes, you feel shame. Then you come out. Great goal by Mark Pivac. What a snipe. Wheels out from behind the net. Short side shell. Be interesting to see the camera angle from behind. The net goal camera on this one. Great work. Drive it around the net. He's been hungry all week to get one. Short side shell. Great play by Mark there. Great pass by Urban Projector. Cross side zone entry. Here we'll see Mark go short side shell. Oh, wow. That's a really good shot. Not much Bashaw could do there. I mean, that was a tiny hole. He didn't give up much, but Pivac found it.
Penalty shot coming up here for Mai Pivec. Mai's gonna get a chance to show off his dangles. Ooh, got like a pause over the last, last ditch effort there. Took the legs out. We're gonna see some action here. Mai Pivec up against Michael Basha. Mono e mono. Side to side, let's see what he's got. Oh, nice save by Michael. Stay patient there. Mike chose to go with the shot. Michael Bashoff comes up with the save. Positive puts one away for, for Red. Get one closer. They're on the board. Unfortunately for Omar there, we cannot play that in that trapezoid. You get stuck. He thought it might have bounced off. I, I think the sunspot that comes in at the end of this rink here in Bled might have played in that melt of the ice. Nope, definitely didn't. That was just a tough air, puck playing air. Puck didn't kick off the wall like he thought it might. And Greg Apazo does a great job of putting it away. Big man wins his front down the ice. Bounces it through the five hole. He's got really good hands for a big man. Greg Apozza, big kid, smooth, fast skater. And once he realizes his strength and his speed and how to use it to his advantage, he's going to be very tough to contain. Urban Podrek with another rush, another nice rush up the ice. This is the kind of player I can see having longevity. He's a player you watch him throughout the course of the game. He never slows down, he never gets tired. He's in unbelievable condition. 
super strength. He did a lot of one-on-one, -on -one, two on two, little tight area battles, and he was throwing guys around. It was, uh, it was unbelievable to see how strong he is for a 17-year-old kid. You know, as I've watched him throughout the course of these games, he just he never gets tired. He can go up the ice all night long. I see him being a defenseman that can play 23, 25 minutes a night and, and never have a dip in energy level.
Ty Bash off with a great finish here. I know, I know for sure there's going to be a ton of chirping going on tonight at the hotel between Michael and Tyler. He's been wanting to get one on his brother all week, so great finish here. Great job getting into his forehand, getting it up quick, going top shelf over the glove there. Black seem to be coming together here. A lot of camaraderie. You can hear him hooting and hollering on the bench, a lot of chatter. So they've, they've really built some chemistry over the week. And they wanted this win. This game meant, meant a lot to him. It was fun to see the atmosphere around the rink today at pregame skate from both teams and to gauge who is going to come out better. Now, i got to be honest with you, I didn't see this coming, but it's good to see Black having some fun, scoring some goals. And looks like they're going to be taking the championship and they're each going to be getting in a Bauer, brand new Bauer hockey stick. Thank you, Bauer Hockey, for donating. Kids were all excited about that when I announced that at the beginning of camp. And they'll also be getting rocket grips from a company out of Latvia. So awesome job by these guys. It's been a fun game. Four and a half minutes left here to play. Don't want to shoot them down, but Red doesn't seem like they got the ump to come back here. Let's see what happens here the last four and a half minutes. Put an end to end there by Raul's Laudasan. Great hands. Dipsy doodle right through. Tack through the neutral zone. He's a really good player. I really enjoy watching Raul's this week. This is the first chance I've gotten to see him in game action. He's skating with him in Riga in a little small setting with five or six players. And now to see how he plays the game and reads the game, it's been fun to see. Uh, very good hockey player, good poise. And he's been awesome to have around here for the last week. These kids have had a great week together.
built a lot of friendships. The bonding's been great, um, and the hockey's been even better. So it's been fun. It's been a fun week for everybody. Kids getting to meet each other from all around the world: USA, Latvia, Germany, uh, Germany, uh, here in Slovenia. So it's been a very fun week. Kids have had a blast and fun to compete and have elite prospects have this streamed on their YouTube channel. Uh, athletics in here with the combines, setting up the on ice, off ice testings, and the other partnerships and sponsors we had with Bear Bells, BioSteel supplied the boys with in the campers with drinks. So it's been a really fun week. Really enjoyed it. Fun to watch. Fun to teach the players and do the video stuff with them. Help them with things that'll carry on into their seasons next year with their little habits and hard work. So, I'm not sure what's going on here. Looks like we're gonna have a scrap. Eat us some fish. Tempers boil over here. Can't say that I condone this sort of thing, but I do like the competitive spirit. Nobody likes losing. Wind it down here. I will be signing off here before the game ends. I got to get out on the ice, do the team photo from this year's camp. The inaugural 2022 Rob Trim Combine Camp here in Bledsovenia. Look forward to building on this next year. Thank you, everybody involved. Elite Prospects, BioSteel, Athletics, Barbells, Rocket Grip, Game Changer. And then we get a goal right before the end. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Appreciate it. Kids had a blast. I had fun doing this. This is my first ever color commentary gig, so we'll see if I get a career out of this gig, uh, <laughs> jokingly. But thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Have a great day. I'm going to go enjoy blood, enjoy being around this group for one last day. Thank you very much. Thank you.